Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashmita and I hope you all are doing well. And I finally, literally 10 minutes back, I finished watching Minnal Murli and I was thinking after finishing the film that should I, you know, write down my notes and everything like the pointers uh, and then, you know, articulate it properly to share my review. But then that would have taken some time and, and I was thinking, or should I just you know just just hit the record button and uh, share my thoughts i decided to go with the latter because and i didn't want to delay it like till tomorrow uh, because firstly uh, you know it's christmas tomorrow and then i'll be with i'll be out with family friends and blah 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 and then i won't get the time so this was the best option so yes i'm really sorry if the if the video and my thoughts are a little disoriented because this is literally the first uh, you know reaction or review after just after watching the film that I'm going to be sharing with you uh, and yes yeah, so what I'll do is how I'll present the video is that I'll first talk about the storyline non-spoiler non-spoiler then I will get into the technical aspects of the film and then at the end with the performances so coming to the storyline this is an origin story film and it is not just the origin story of the superhero which is Minnar it is also the origin story of the villain so we will see uh, two stories running parallelly and you will get the context you'll get an idea completely like what is the mindset of the antagonist and what is the mindset of the protagonist and i feel that it has been established fantastic and like i loved it i loved it uh because usually what happens is that the makers spend so much time in establishing the hero story that they completely forget the villain and the villain is just like a token person who's evil uh and who just wants to destroy things kill everybody just has evil intentions but we never really go into the root cause of the villain because I feel, I honestly feel in a good superhero film, you know, placement of a villain, of a good villain is very, very critical. And I personally love a villain who is as invincible as the superhero. So it's like a clash of the equals. And Minnal Murli, <laughs> see, again, I'm fumbling. Minnal Murli does that absolutely with perfection that is the biggest plus point in the storyline that i found and the first hour or the first half i mean there's no first half second half if you can call it like the first half so the first half of the film goes into setting up like complete context we are understanding the dynamics of this village what is the relationship between different characters and all of that and it takes its sweet time it takes its sweet time so that could be a complaint of some people who are uh, thinking that okay we are we're doing the build-up is happening the build-up is happening the build-up is happening what next what next what next so they might think that okay it's getting stretched a little bit personally for me this is the kind of storytelling I like so I did not have literally any problem with it like I, I love when the, the movie takes its sweet time to establish context because then the payoffs in the ending just make it you know it makes it worthwhile for me at least like if it's done well and executed well here it has been executed really really well and that is why i don't have any issues with the narration whatsoever whatsoever now tovino's character jason is a tailor who dreams of going to america and he's actually you know in the process of getting his passport basically approved and there are certain hurdles that he starts facing from the people that he knows and then in midst of everything uh, like all the problems 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 are going on in his life and in midst of everything he receives his bars uh, by lightning and <laughs> it's it's also very nicely you know very basically innocently I should say shown that uh, there are some planetary movements that are going to happen and because of that there's going to be thunder and lightning and all of those little things are explained that's that's nice I mean it doesn't go into very scientific details uh, but it just establishes that and then we move on to you know the next phase of Minnal Murli and his origin story. Usually in a superhero film, especially the western superhero film that we majorly watch, uh, a lot of context is established that what is the origin of this power, how does the power work, like there are many, uh, you know, nitty gritties and many details that one goes through, but here it's not done, it's not done and I honestly did not mind it. And that is because this is really not about the past that the person has. It's really about the intention with which this power is supposed to be used. And the entire usage of the power is very, very rooted 
to the personal problem, to the personal emotion of both the protagonist as well as the antagonist. And if you have not watched this film yet and you are expecting, because this is a superhero film, it's you know based in that genre, and if you are expecting, oh my God, amazing, amazing action shots and the film is going to be completely action packed and all of that, like how we are used to because of the Western superhero films, I'm telling you then, then please don't have those expectations because this is more about uh, the story than the VFX. The overall treatment that Basil Joseph gave to this film, I am so happy. It feels so rooted, so grounded and that is what I expected. Honestly, that is what I expected. It feels so, so much close to our hearts and our home that yes, this is something that can happen in our lands and I love that this is not that larger than life and I said that in the trailer reaction also that it doesn't, it doesn't have to be that larger than life where he's, you know, saving like an entire country or the state or whatever it's just you know confined to that village area you know the, the motivations the actions are very very personal and I love that this is this is a really well directed film by Basil Joseph honestly now coming to the technical aspects of the film first I want to talk the biggest thing I want to talk about is the VFX the ending VFX now I know this movie was made uh, with a limited budget so the ending climax action sequence and vfx is actually done pretty well i enjoyed it but uh when you know they are establishing their powers they're trying to understand uh you know how their powers work and stuff and there is a sequence with like the hero and the villain inside a bus uh there you might feel you might feel that okay it, it looks a little bit uh gimmicky or weird but I mean, really, that's that's like literally me nitpicking. It really doesn't matter because I understand, I understand with the budgetary constraint, but I think they would have, you know, concentrated more that, okay, we should have proper VFX at the ending fight because that is more important. So, but it's still fine. It's still fine. That's, it is something that my eyes picked up and it looked odd to my eyes. Maybe if you just miss it out, it's, you are, it's fine. I mean, it really doesn't matter. It's something that I really wanted to point out because I noticed it. The score is beautiful. My God, Sushin Shyam, Shan Rahman. And you know what made it even better is because I knew the songs. I knew the songs and the placement of the songs are perfect, perfect. I was like literally when you know the songs, you are so happy now when it plays uh, with the perfect scenes and, and I cried a river. I cried a river when Uire played. I cried a river that entire, you, if you have watched it, you know where that song plays and oh my God. I cried like a baby. That was the best, like for me, emotionally, emotional impact wise, that was my favorite, absolute favorite sequence. That was my favorite scene. But other than the songs, the score is also just brilliant, brilliant. This is, that's why, you know, the first thought which came in my mind is like, I wish, I wish I had watched this film in the theaters. I literally, when the movie got over, I said, Oh my god, I would have enjoyed this so much, so much in the theatres. I don't have a problem with the edit also, uh, but here, like I said, the first half for some people might seem a little draggy because yes, it takes its time to, uh, you know, build up this entire world. Uh, but the but the latter half of the film is really fast paced. It's really, really fast paced. You'll, you'll not even understand like how, when the movie got over basically. Cinematography is done by Samir Dahir and he has actually captured the world really well, that entire village and especially, especially the tea stall, the tea shop, because most of the conversations are happening there. I really liked how he captured that essence of the, the, the main center of gossip, of news spreading, huh, of rumor spreading was that tea shop. So that entire vibe was really nice. The camera work done in the climax sequence, one thing which I really loved is the lighting because it's essentially shot in the nighttime, but I loved the way how it was lit up, the lights falling on the characters' faces and all of the surroundings. It was really well done. About the action, how the action was shot now, uh, there are slow-mo shots as well, but there are a lot of close-up shots as well. You would have seen that in the trailer also where Minnal is uh, screaming that shot. So that's a very, very close-up shot. I honestly would have wanted to see 
more wide angle shots because it's a superhero film but that's okay you get those you get those moments as well but it's a combination of wide angle shots as well as close up shots so you would see a lot of jump cuts between like the wide angle and the slow mo shots because there's a lot of focus given on the facial expressions also which is which was okay by me though i know that in a superhero movie we want to see like the full full frame screen and what is happening to the surrounding when the two super you know human beings basically are fighting you have those moments you have those moments it's not like you know you don't have those moments at all but yes a lot of emphasis has been given to the facial expressions also like what the characters are feeling while fighting so that was very interesting for me then coming to the performances the casting man this is what a cast man what a cast and what performances man by each and every one of them everybody literally i am not kidding i am not kidding everybody was out of this world man i love this film i'm really sad that i watched it on tv and not in the theaters this was literally going to be a treat if it had gotten a theatrical release i am i'm not kidding guys i'm not kidding starting uh, with the kid i don't know his name uh, i'm really sorry because usually i look it up and i you know write it down but the the kid it was amazing he was so charming and the relationship that was established between him and tovino was wonderful it gave out so many great moments so many great moments oh i i want to do like a spoiler review i don't know i don't know you can let me know because there's so many scenes that one can talk about in the film and th th those are really really memorable scenes for me so if you want a spoiler review or a spoiler discussion maybe i'll do you know do the spoiler discussion with nona that'll be fun anyway so that kid was fantastic then tovino who sorry when he wears when he dons that superhero outfit oh man i got the chills man i got the chills he was so innocent and charming and i loved the way he was not able to sort of figure out his powers and then he was trying then he realizes he has this epiphany you have this follows the typical superhero template where uh, you know the hero is sort of lost then he gets the powers then he you know tries the powers thinks that he's invincible then he realizes at one point of time that you know the powers getting the pass you know how in spider man it said with great power come great responsibility so he realizes the weight that the power holds and it can go either way and then at the end he realizes that yes i'm going to you know beat this threat so it had it has the complete superhero hero not hero <laughs> hero template and tovino has just done it fabulously i loved him i loved loved him then uh, there is the police officer all the police officers like aju vargas as well as the thin man who uh, i think his name is madhavan so he was brilliant like his dialogues were so funny so funny uh, and you know him him and aju vargas both of them gave out some really cool laugh out moments amazing loved their roles their actings as well and then the villain the villain and i'm if i'm not mentioning any of the other supporting cast like the female lead you can say the female supporting who is the karate uh, instructor she was also nice and uh, but the villain guys the villain i'm sorry about the noise he was incredible he's the show stealer he's he's the show stealer and i completely understand why he was kept hidden throughout the promotions because he he's the ace of the film he is the actual ace of this film guru soma sundaram's performance is nothing but epic nothing but epic the way his entire arc has been established and you will understand i really don't want to you know give out any spoiler for the villain if you have not watched it because otherwise the impact won't be there but the way his origin has been established you really feel for the guy you really are going to feel for him and yes yes he was you know he had evil thoughts in his mind but somehow oh my god i really fell for the guy honestly i am not kidding i am not kidding overall the casting was great and you know he is he was really a match for tovino he was really a match for tovino and that's what made me really really happy that the importance that you are giving to the superhero equal importance has been given 
to the super villain as well and i wish that this movie you know has a sequel and i would want that uh, because the first one i know is an origin story and it's very very rooted to that place but the sequel i'm hoping is that it takes it one level higher and you know it's on a big bigger scale basically the threat is on a much larger scale and much larger geographical area that would be fun to watch that would be fun to watch so yeah and if if netflix is only going to be promoting it uh, if this is going to be like a netflix production the or oh, then then please give 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 basil joseph a big big fat budget and i know he's going to do wonders he's going to do wonders with the storytelling and the visuals and everything because if with a limited budget you see what he produced you see what he just made the way he directed this film i am i am in you know complete appreciation for the entire team not just him of course basil joseph is the captain of the ship but the entire team i loved his storytelling format this is the first film of basil joseph you know i'm watching and i know goda is there and other films are there but just you know judging his direction from this film i loved the way he said the story the humor is very subtle the jokes landed uh, the action is beautiful the emotion i think for me the way he directed this film he made me emotional in so many places like you know in a superhero film you are supposed to feel that goosebump you are supposed to feel that emotion you are supposed to feel the chills he ensured that this happened he ensured that this happened so i am very happy with this kind of direction really i am very very happy so yes overall a big thumbs up guys don't miss this movie a big big thumbs up but like i said i gave this disclaimer before if you're you know completely expecting a superhero film that we are so used to watching uh from the you know marvel or the dc or then your expectations are going to be shattered 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 but otherwise if you like a very strong script good story telling with the added element of you know it being a superhero uh, you know a hero and a villain and uh, then yeah this is the movie for you guys this is the movie for you i'm so happy i am so happy that this genre is now getting explored in our country and it should be explored more it should be explored more like I, till now till now my favorite movies in that genre has been bhavesh joshi superhero what a what a film man i love that film and mart ko dard nahi hota and now this gets added to the list this definitely gets added to the list so yup that was that was my review my quick like literally my first thoughts literally my first thoughts after watching this film i'll quickly edit it now and post it on the channel i'm really sorry once again that the you know the review is a little bit disorganized uh usually you know i'm much more uh, fluent and organized when i'm sharing my thoughts because i you know pen it down first but it's okay it's okay i hope you guys don't mind because i won't have you know the time to record it in the consequent days that's why so yes with that i will end this video i'm really sorry if i missed out on anything i don't intend to but i am i am really hoping that we have a live stream you know with the spoiler discussion at least with nona and also whatever i've forgotten to mention over here i'll definitely bring it up in the spoiler live stream discussion whenever it happens at least i want it to happen ha huh? nona are you watching <laughs> all right guys i'm going to end the video here share in your thoughts if you watched this film in the comments below and yep i will see you soon now on my next video bye